We're at Titchmarsh Local Nature Reserve today. Leaving the car park, we gaze out over fields of oilseed rape. The vibrant yellow flowers of April and May are now a distant memory as the crop awaits harvest. And behind the hayfield stands Old Winkle Church, now no longer a place of Christian worship, but a place where weary travellers can find a bed for the night and to be served breakfast by an enterprising farmer to start their new day. Harper's Brook, a tributary of the River Nen, winds its way through the reserve, eventually joining the Nen just to the north of the town of Thrapston. Harper's Brook is home to several species of fish. And if you're lucky, you may get to see a water vole. And if you're very, very lucky, an otter. The day is cloudy, hot and humid as the summer heat wave continues with only a slight warm breeze. As we cross the bridge that spans Harper's Brook, to our left we see a large bird of prey flying. It's a buzzard, and it's just made a kill. Or it could be roadkill, as buzzards eat carrion too. Their diet includes rabbits, small rodents, birds, and even earthworms. Walking a little further down the path reveals that breakfast is a rabbit. As we pass Oldwinkle Lake and Thorpe Lake, we see grey heron. This one preening. A mother tufted duck hurriedly swims away with her small brood of two ducklings. I surmise all that's left of her once much larger brood, and a lone great crested green slips into the cool depths. We reach the River Nen, which rises in Northamptonshire, then flows through Northamptonshire, Cambridgeshire, Norfolk, and ends its journey at the Wash. And as you can see, it's very popular with pleasure craft of all shapes and sizes. The river bank is covered with Himalayan balsam, an invasive species but a good source of nectar, so it attracts the bees, sometimes to the detriment of our native plants. Also along the river bank, beautiful male banded demoiselles fight for territory, and red soldier beetles forage among the flowers. And the riverside blackberry bushes attract myriad hoverflies, and this red admiral butterfly. And here's a reminder that autumn isn't too far away. Across the far side of the river we disturb a young hare, identifiable by its long ears with black tips. And a little further on, a crash of recently fledged young grey heron with their punk hairdos. Smaller birds are conspicuous by their absence, preferring to lay low during the molt. But we did see this beautiful male greenfinch, and it's good news that their numbers seem to be on the increase. We happily sit and watch this chiff chaff feeding only a few feet away from the hide window, totally oblivious to our presence. Now joined by a juvenile blue tip. And all too soon we come full circle and our thoughts turn to home and Sunday lunch. See you next time.